Hello and welcome to Udemy clone part 8. I am Kamran Vidani and in this video we will create the rest of our Firebase authentication. So let's get started but before continuing I would like to request if you have not liked the watch me code Facebook page then please like it and if you have not subscribed to watch me code youtube channel then please search for youtube uh, search inside youtube watch me code and click the subscribe button and don't forget to click this bell icon to get the updates as soon as i release it so great in last video we have left at the sign in process so when we click on sign in and here is the sign in form and we have our country selector and we have the nice numeric input so that we don't accidentally input the uh, alphabetic alphabets and we can only input the numeric digits that is great and our country Great. So let's go to uh, the Firebase sign-in method and inside the phone we need to add the phone numbers for testing. So let's quickly add a phone number. So for, in my case because I'm from Pakistan so let's add uh, plus nine two one two three four five six seven because uh, oops sorry let's add a quick number that is let's start with 300 and one two three four five six and seven so this is the format we use right here in Pakistan so we need a verification code as well so let's use one two three four five six and click add so we can use this number right inside the testing phase and when we will add the number other than this one then it will send an verification code So let's get back inside the code and we have left on our oath.js so let's get back and instead of just adding this quick view let's create one more view and that is the verification code view so let's quickly go inside and create a constant and let's add a constant and use a verification code view or well, let's keep it simple verify code view and use an error method and let's just quickly duplicate this thing and say send code view and inside this send code view we will just quickly cut and paste this entire code because we will later add the code thing all the way down so let's add a return and inside return we will add mode so let's quickly add a constant and inside the constant um, let's add a mode and it will be um, nice great thank you and this is set mode oops set mode and equals will be use state and by default let's use send code and inside the return statement we will use simply mode equals send code then we will simply return the send code view else we will add the verify code view and we are good to go so if i just simply save and go back to the view and we are still on our assignment because we are somehow 
Mm. Oh, there is a message from the Aslam Khalid and nice tutorial and thank you by the way. So let's keep it and um, one more thing to quickly uh, let you know, uh, I have released a video tutorial uh, on Udemy and that code is, let me quickly give you the link, uh, Udemy and it is course and here is the course so let's quickly click and in this course I have um, tried to create lectures about how you can just create a whatsapp web clone so let's quickly mute this one and play it so that if I go inside the connect with chat box from Firestore because it is my own course so I can still play it but uh, you know this is the premium course and if you are interested you can of course go and buy it and we can you can see we have added a lot more and it is connected to the direct firebase and if I quickly go back to UI design we have a chat box UI and here we have created the chat box UI where we have chat messages we have the inbox and we have a couple of other things so that is perfect and here is the video so please uh, search for whatsapp web clone from scratch with react.js and uh, be coding so let's let me quickly just close it so let's get back and now we need uh, to add or change let's change it to accent code so that we can get an verification code view so let's quickly return and duplicate inside the verification code view and inside the verification code view of course we need um, what we need by the way we need a cover we need a title and just quickly change this title to something like verify phone and number and right below we need to change it to enter verification code sent to spam class name and it will be font b and inside the font we will simply use our dial code and the phone number we are adding and it will come come from uh, this nice um, values that is from our sent code view so let's quickly create a const dial code set dial code equals use state and by default let's use um, plus 92 because I'm from Pakistan so let's use Pakistan and dial code and we need uh, the phone and set phone it will be our phone number so let's use use state and it is now by default and inside our sign in uh, sorry send code uh, set code view let me quickly get back to our send code view and we will use on change so let's use on change equals a equals a dot target dot value or, or sorry actually we need a right here uh, set phone and inside a set phone we will use e dot target dot value equals mpd then it is null otherwise we will use e dot target dot value so here we go perfect and we need a same thing right inside our select box so that we can just use the same on chain but for now let's change it to dial code and the rest is good and inside the default value we will use dial code and it came from right here so here we go perfect and inside the numeric input let's use a value or let's use default value and it will be form so let's save and if I go back inside the sign in and here we are back on track so let me quickly control shift I so that 
we enter into the developer console and inside the components because I have this nice extension from a Facebook React Developer Tools installed so that I can access components and then we need to check for a right click inspect and let's switch to components and it will show all the states we are actually using so if I change a couple of values you can see it says default value is the number I am entering right here so let's add 0 300 123 4 5 6 7 and it will say the default value is this one so perfect we are on track so let's go back and inside the mode let's change it to something like accent code so we are using the send code and not send code thing so if i change anything other than send code it will just render the verify code view and we are good so inside the we enter verification code send to let's use dial code plus phone and we are good to go and after that we will simply add um, let's go and just remove this select because inside verification code we just need a numeric input and for placeholder we will use an x x x x and x because uh, firebase authentication uh, sorry phone authentication by default sends a six digit code and let's use it and after that inside the numeric input we will uh, simply duplicate this on chain or let's just quickly copy entire numeric input and paste right here so let's use default value and default value will be the verification code so we need to create it quickly so let's go and create a const and it is a verification code and set verification code perfect because we i have installed the tab 9 extension it is a nice extension you can just install and it will give you the perfect suggestions with ai kind of thing let's say i type you can see we have set verification code and it is coming from the tab 9 extension and it is great free extension from tab 9 um set verification code and you say null and all that and inside the value we will add a verification code and on change set verification code and we are good to go but for placeholder we will change it to xxs and x x x x x and x great and let's save and go back and we are on a verify phone number enter phone number a verification code is sent to plus nine to and null because we are currently directly landing on the verify phone number thing and we need to add a somehow a way to just add a number and of course we will um, then arrive here from the send code form it will be right here so here we go and inside the button that is inside the send code we will just add a one more constant and let's add a const sign in equals and we need to add const sign in and we need to add um, console.log sending sms to plus dial code plus phone and we need one more constant that is verify and we will add it later what we need right here so let's keep it and inside the button we need to add on click equals and oops that is somehow messing up all the things so let's quickly add self uh, sorry just use sign in and oh sorry just need to type sign in why it is so much hard to type 
today so let's get back and just paste right here and we will use verify right here perfect and uh, let's save and switch back to accent code for now and we need uh, to add a sign in method so let's save and we need to add a couple of things that is um, let's call it oh sorry so let's get back and we need it to add a phone a verification capture because the firebase authentication needs a verification code uh, with a capture and we need to render that capture somehow and we will simply add a use effect right here so let's add that use effect and inside the use effect it needs a callback and inside the callback we will check if not a window dot recapture capture verifier and then we will simply add a window dot recapture verifier equals new global dot firebase dot auth dot recapture verifier but it needs a capital r recapture and we should be capital and we need a div right here so let's go and add a div right here and let's add div class name equals uh, let's call underscore underscore phone assign let's use phone sign error and underscore underscore and what else we need right here is or give ID to underscore underscore phone signer and keep class as well so let's save and inside the capture verifier we will need underscore underscore uh, phone signer and after that we need to simply add a window dot recapture verifier dot render dot then because it returns a promise with a widget id and we will add window dot widget id equals wid here we go so let's save and go back and we are on track but now we have a nice recapture right here and you don't need anything out of the box because the recapture just packed inside the firebase sdk so we need to fix the ui right now so let's quickly go and inspect we need to fix a couple of things so first of all the auth view should be um like uh, as it is width 400 and it is not a, like we need the width to something um, equal to this recapture thing so let's reduce the width and let's use 300 or 302 or one maybe and it is good because the number is our number has the sufficient space right here so let's go to auth view inside the app.css and the auth view let's use 301.pix and we will use the auth view verify and we will use a width of something like 420 pixels and inside the auth we will and inside the um, verify code view let's add auth view verify and save it okay now save it and let's 
add a couple of things. Uh, I guess we should just change the S240 and please give me a couple of minutes, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back now and so let's go and we need to change it to let's use font size 40 pixels and good 40 is good so let's quickly go back to props and inside 50 let's add 40 and save it and inside both quickly change it to 40 and save it and for this text message we will use to 18 yeah 18 is good but we need to add margin top to 10 pixels so let's quickly copy and inside the app and in all line save it and for all line we will use s18 quickly change right here as well 18 perfect now we are back on track but as you can see there is some weird behavior right for the border radius so let's change the border radius to match more like this one so use um, I guess 3 is good so for app just use border radius to 3 pixels and for button we will use border radius to 3 pixels as well and we will add margin um, or maybe keep it this way and the button margin let's change it to 3 pixels and save and great now reduce and go back to phone signer and we need to add margin top or let's add more than 10 pixels, 0 pixels and for top let's keep the 10 but for bottom let's add a little more so let's quickly copy and underscore underscore phone signer underscore underscore let's quickly add that class right here dot oath view dot underscore underscore uh, phone signer uh, signer underscore underscore and just paste right here margin save and we are good to go perfect now let me quickly close it and here we are now we need a method to send a message and go back to send our verification code view so let's go inside oath and for the sign in method we will use uh, if I just quickly remind you if you can quickly add a toast dot show and we can add HTML equals test and the time should be five and it will oh, sorry we can add Azul dot toast and it is not defined as well then where is where it is coming from um, let's go back and inside App, app root and then where it is coming from all this toast or maybe it is coming from some kind of history so let's save and for now uh, we need uh, to uh, let me quickly check if we have created any sort of toast cover loading and toast or maybe we have those no we don't need hair right here so let's simply add um, one more thing and uh, that is the toast because we need uh, to create a way to show a 
message for our errors or notifications and for that we will of course add okay so let's go back and quickly create those CSS comps and inside our main folder that is source uh, let's quickly create a new folder and call it Zeus because I prefer using the Zeus um, namespace because I love that word so let's create a new file and call it functions.js and we will keep all the global functions right here so let's start with a toast and add a constant Zeus toast equals function and for that function we will add uh, let self equal this and we will add we will add a self dot underscore toast equals and after that we will simply add const toast equals new those toast and we will export default and we will export toast right here so let's save and we don't need to return anything until we are we will add const underscore toast equals options and we need a couple of things first of all we need a timeout value and keep it null we need to create an random id let's call those toast and quickly create a method right here and let's add a const call it generate id equals so the concept for the random id generation right here is any particular reason to use loading a true versus loading well and let's use uh, generate id and for generate id actually the concept for generating the uh, id is we need to generate some code of, sort of a b c d e dash e f g h i j k l m n o p and we need to provide how much characters we need and how much this pairs we need like a b c d dash and this is second pair this is third and this is fourth so let's add length and we need um, let's call it group for uh, g and let's add a constant s and call g and the s will actually generate a random text so let me quickly add our text and it is empty and we have a couple of possible values and that is a b c d e f g h i j k l m n a b c d f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z and we need small one a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x and y and z and we need a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we now have all the possible characters and you can add um, others like brackets underscore dashes but i guess we should just keep these basic alphabets and numerics so let's use for uh, let i equal zero i is less than um, g i plus plus and we need to create the first group and the group will be of this g length so let's add text plus equals and we will use possible characters dot character add and we will add a simple math dot floor and inside math floor we will just add math dot random and we will multiply it with possible dot length 
and now we have created we have created this text and uh, just simply return this text and then we need uh, to create our id equals sg because the first set is right here and let's add if a length is greater than one then we will simply add for a let n equal zero and n is less than length and n plus plus and we will simply add id plus equals a dash and let's add um, s and g here we go and then we need to return this id great and we need to explore right here for if we in case we use or we need this method outside of functions so inside the toast just add a plus and generate id and we will use a pair of let's say five and uh, iterations will be four so great and after that we need a toast equals document dot get oh sorry create element and the element will be a div and we will add a button equals document dot create element oh sorry create element and we need a button Ta -da! and after that we will add a toast dot id equals id toast dot class list equals those toast and we will use a fixed class a flex a font n nm s14 is good and let's use an aic for align item centers and we will add toast dot in our html equals options dot html if you are providing any kind of html or we need a default message uh, let's call it a fancy toast and for button we will add button dot class name equals font b and s15 nothing else and we need a button dot text content equals uh, options dot button text or we will add ok and we need a button dot add event listener and it is click and we will add oh sorry we will add an arrow method with a dismiss method and the dismiss method we will create shortly and we will add toast dot append child it will be, it will be button so let's add self dot underscore container and the container is actually right here after uh, self dot underscore container because we need uh, to create a container to add more and more and more blocks right uh, or these toast inside one block so let's keep it that way and container equals null so keep and go back and let's add the container self dot underscore container dot append child and that is toast and this is it for now and now we need to add a method and call it const underscore dismiss and the dismiss will be sorry and inside the dismiss we will add a t out if we have any timeout then simply clear timeout t out and we need to add a toast dot class list dot remove we will add and remove a couple of classes and first is source toast visible and we will add toast dot class list dot add those toast hidden perfect and we will simply add tout equal set timeout and the timeout will be um, for thousands milliseconds and we will add document dot get element by id id dot parent node dot remove child and we will remove this document dot get element by id and that is an id and we will create one more method for arranging our toes so let's keep it for now 
So we need to check to create self dot create container. Sorry, container equals and mpd error method and inside the, our method we will add var container equals document uh, dot create element diff and we will add container dot id equals toast container and we will add a document dot body dot append child and that is the container and we will have self runners for container equals container here we go perfect and now we need very own method that will be show and it will accept options and we will simply add a self dot underscore container equals null and create uh, sorry self dot create container and we need underscore toast and with options so for now let's copy uh, sorry save and go back and let's quickly reload and check if we have uh, sorry I forgot to import it so inside oath so quickly add import Zeus from we need to go back and inside Zeus functions and save it and now I guess if I just add Zeus we have oh sorry Zeus is not defined so we need to check for console.log Zeus what we have got inside Zeus so great now we have toast and we have generate id a function and inside that function we will simply add Zeus dot toast dot show and we will pass an html and for html we will add hello testing and we need to provide a time and let's use time five and save and if i quickly go back inside elements and we have a toast container and we have a toast with just toast and all that perfect and now we need to just remove that and just add a couple of classes for our toast so let's get back and inside the props let's add toast thing so let's add those toast we need to add those dash toast and we need Zeus toast visible and we need Zeus toast hidden we no need Zeus toast button and button hover and this is it for now let's save and if we have not missed the Zeus toast um, great now let's save and go back and there is nothing right here so we need to apply inside the sign in so let's add uh, zeus dot toast dot show and the html will be hello there and save it now let's get back and keep an eye right here so if i just click continue and here is the zeus con uh, sorry toast container and we have the toast so let's quickly add the css for our zeus toast and that is if I quickly add a background of something like uh, let's use 000 and bottom should be 20 pixels and right should be 20 pixels and color will be white and what else we got so if I just add and it says oh sorry 230 it should be 20 and we need to add a padding of something like 10 and 20 pixels and add a border radius of 3 pixels and color and what else we need z index ta -da -ta -da -ta -da. so keep it all the way up and let's copy 
and uh, we have animated class right here no okay so let's quickly copy and paste inside the props and save it and now we need to create an anim class and the anim class will actually will be a global class and <clears throat> that global class will use dot anim it will be transition all 0 0.2 seconds and it will be a linear and zero seconds perfect now save and go back and if i just quickly reload and click we have a nice toast right here but for toast we need to add a couple of more things so for toast we need to change transform translate y and the translate y will be something like 150 pixels because actually we need to come it from the bottom so we need to change it to something like 150 pixels and change the opacity to zero so let's quickly copy and just replace this inside the props save now we need a method to when we let's let's say just quickly reload and we need to create a, a toast and it should c come out of the bottom couple of milliseconds right after it is inserted so inside the functions we will add the timeout thing so when we are appending the our toast to our container we will simply add a set timeout and inside this set timeout let's just use um, 500 and we need to add toast dot class list dot add toast uh, sorry those toast visible and let's save it now if i go back and quickly create continue and it will add those toast visible and for the those toast visible we will just copy this transform translate and paste right here and we will use opacity to one and the translate should be zero this way it will come right from the bottom so let me quickly copy and paste inside the props and inside visible and save now let me quickly reload and now if i just click continue it will come from the bottom but you can see it is taking a long time so let me change the 500 to let's use the 50 milliseconds because i need to add a couple of milliseconds after it is inserted inside the dom so let's click continue and the toast is right here so let's add the css to the button so let's inspect sorry let's quickly inspect and inside the button let's add border to zero and line height to one and let's add a padding of five pixels and ten pixels and color should be white and background should be rgba and zero 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 and margin left should be four pixels and i guess let's add about left one pixels ddd solid but just reduce the color to yeah here we go and for padding just change the xy to something like five pixels yeah perfect and we need margin left to let's let's use 20 and perfect now save sorry now save and go inside props button and for hover we will just use opacity of 0 0.5 okay and for the hidden we will just add this nice transform translate back so let's quickly reload and click continue 
and here is the toast so if i click ok it will go back but you can see if i keep clicking continue continue it will keep adding more and more divs continue 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 and it will keep adding these random divs but we need to a way to somehow sort this toast right after it came and for functions and for classes um, let's create a method very quickly and go and create self dot arrange toast equals callback because we need somehow a callback right after it finishes arranging toast so dot toast our document dot query selector all those dash toast and we will add start from 20 and i equals toast dot length and we will add while i negative negative minus minus actually we will add toast i dot class list dot add n dash plus i and we will add one more method to move it self dot move toast equals toast and the bottom value and we will simply add toast dot style dot bottom equals bottom plus picks and we will now add self dot move toast that is toast and toast i and for toast i and we need to add the bottom value and then we will simply add bottom plus equals get computed style and we need to get toast i and then we need its height dot replace because it returns the pixels values and we will need to pass int to integer and we will add plus 30 great and we will add if there is callback then just call it callback great now if we need inside right here where we are adding uh, sorry pending the toast right here and we need a self dot arrange toast and let's add a callback after arranging that toast we need to create a timeout equals arrange toast equals oh sorry arrange sorry we need a way to set timeout and because we need to somehow just dismiss this so let's add dismiss and we need a value of um what should we use options dot time or we will use a default value of five and we will multiply it with thousand and we are done great now save it and go back and now if we click continue there is a toast and it will go away after five seconds great now if you click continue and keep adding toast it will oh sorry there is some issue with with with, with. uh sorry right here so click con container and continue oh somehow it is not trimming the self dot ring toast so somehow there is something missing toast visual self dot ring toast timeout dismiss and inside the self dot ring toast there is toast called document query selector all those toast oh sorry there need a dot because we are selecting all the classes with uh, a query selector of dot class so continue continue and here we go so if i keep clicking this continue it will just go back and back and back but for 
go away I need to move from bottom to top so just add uh, hidden to negative 150 pixel because we need to translate it its position to negative 150 pixels so let's quickly reload it and continue and after a couple of toasts it will go from its place to the up value but if I just click continue and hit ok it will go away right there so here is the nice toast thing right here so let's get back to our assignment thing and inside oath we need to add a sign in method so let's go and check if phone equals null then we will simply add a toast and for toast we will add enter your phone number and we will use a time of 5 and if you are intended to use the time 5 then just don't add it because by default we are adding a time of 5 seconds else we will simply add this loading so set loading true just save and quickly check it so if I click continue it says enter your phone number and if I add your 300 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and click continue it will just show this loading like it is sending the request to firebase backend so great so let's go and continue to set loading and then we need azus dot toast oh sorry we need to add a method inside toast so if we have one or more toasts just hide all these toasts so let's go and create self dot dismiss with a single s all equals and let's add var toast equals document dot query selector all dot those toast and let's add um, i equals toast dot length and we need to add while i negative negative and we will add a toast i dot parent node dot remove child that is toast i and great now we need to use this dismiss all those dot toast dot dismiss all and then we need to simply call the phone number equals um, but before that let's add a var and use app verifier and that is we know dot recapture verifier and we need a phone number that is dial code plus phone sorry phone and we will add a global dot firebase dot auth dot sign in with a phone number and it needs a phone number and it needs app verifier and you can see the tab 9 extension is way more smarter and it is automatically adding the reference variables and then we will add then the confirmation or let's call it see result see result confirmation equals and the confirmation will be and but we need to catch errors first so let's quickly add console.log error so let's save and go back and if we quickly go inside and let's quickly add continue and my number one two three four five six seven and just click continue it will say uh, oh global dot firebase dot auth is sign in with oh uh, it needs a capital i so let's save and go back and click 0 one, uh, one two three four five six seven and click continue and it will say if there is some error and if the error is not there so we need 
console.log confirmation save to check if the confirmation is done 0 300 1 2 3 uh, sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and click continue and there is nothing com coming back so there is some issue let me quickly check what is going on global dot firebase dot auth dot sign in with phone number and we have phone number app verifier error console dot and we are of course catching the error so maybe there is some issue what else we got okay so let me quickly add 0 to 100 uh, 4 5 6 7 8 9 and continue and it has the same result so we need to switch back the set loading first of all set loading to false and uh, console.log and now let's use the captcha as well 0 to 100 um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and let's use the captcha and continue great now we have a verification id because it is somehow messing up with the captcha thing so now we need to add this captcha or oh, sorry confirmation result to our state so let's use confirmation result set confirmation result equals your state and let's add a null and right here let's add a set confirmation result to confirmation and we will add set verification code to null if there is some verification code and we will add set mode and it is verify code and we will add set loading to false great now let's save it and try one more time zero three zero zero four three oh sorry one two three four five six seven and i'm not a robot and click continue and great we have this verify phone number right here perfect and now we need to go inside the verification thing and fix the verifier so somehow we will simply go inside and we have the this verify thing so let's quickly add the verify so we will add if self dot uh, what we have right here verification code verification code equals null oh sorry just verification code equals null then we will simply add a toast just like we are adding right here so add enter verification code and uh, but before continuing let's quickly add a couple of errors so if I just add um, uh, 2 3 4 5 6 9 8 8 and, and, and quickly add a random number it will give us an error so click continue and here is the auth invalid phone number so we need to check this verification errors first to before continuing so let's go inside and we will check uh, if error dot code or let's add a switch error dot code and the first one is this one let's add break and we will simply add this toast and let's we add zeus dot toast uh, and say uh, that number is not valid please provide a valid phone number and great and for default we will simply add zoos.toast and we are unable to process your request at this time with an exclamation mark perfect now let's go back inside the toast and uh, sorry verify code and now we need to check for a confirmation result and the confirmation result is inside 
this confirmation result so let's add a confirmation result dot confirm because it provides a default confirm method and that is verification code and we will add then result and we will check for error as well uh, catch error and inside the error we don't need to bother what is going on just need and console to debug it later and we will add set loading to false false and we will add um, this the token dot show and we will simply present user uh, invalid sorry invalid confirmation code and inside the result we will just uh, add console.log you are signing and just save it and let's go and quickly add a 0 300 1 2 3 4 5 6 or maybe a, a wrong number and I'm not a robot and click continue and it says that the number is not valid and all that and if I add 0 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and I'm not a robot and just add continue and it will present us this verify phone number just hit continue and it says enter verification code so let's add a wrong code that is 654321 it is a wrong code and it will just provide us auth invalid verification code invalid information code so the correct code is 123456 click continue and it says you are signing and unfortunately we I forgot to add set loading to true right there so now we are signed in so this is it for this video and in next video we'll continue our udemy course and it is stuck because we are currently signing and if you need to sign out just add a uh, firebase dot auth dot um, sorry well just leave it for now and in next video we will continue with our uh, this Udemy course but before leaving I would like to request if you have not subscribed to YouTube channel for watch me code then please subscribe and click the bell icon and if you have not liked the watch me code Facebook page then please like and follow it so this is it for now and happy coding